Bounds. Bias ka na talaga that the quality of the proposition is in the negative. It's negative. If there is no negative particle in the copula, even if there is a negative particle in the, in the subject or in the predicate, the proposition still in its, in its uh, affirmative quality. Unless or except, ito except in proposition, except there is none or never. No, there is none or never. Even if in the copula there is no not, still the quality is negative. I'd like to reiterate this, this or that as we go along. Okay, attributive proposition. Attributive proposition, it is a proposition which the predicate is affirmed or denied to the subject. There are three basic elements. Hindi na natin yan i-ano, hindi na natin sila i-exaggerate. Ito lang copula, kasi many of you still do not know what makes a proposition in its logical form or what makes or what constitutes a proposition in its logical form if there is a copula without a copula it can never be considered as a proposition in its logical form or logically formed proposition will it be true when I say dog barks is a proposition I write articles is a proposition but they are not expressed in the or in their logical form. Why? Because there is no copula. Because the standard form is the SCP. Alam na natin yan, tatlo lang ang copulae, the is, am, and the are. And then there is also a rule. When there is is not, are not, of course, you 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 go to the... This is what makes it judgment. Dogs, rats, pigs, for animals, there are terms we do not make any judgment the moment we express them, the moment the mind compares, enunciates the mind, there is already now what we call a proposition. When we compare attributes, sabi natin, a dog is an animal, is an affirmative proposition. Because there is no denial in the proposition. If I say a dog is not an animal, there is already a denial. There is already a negative and negation. That's what makes it the quality now as negative. I'll, 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 that's what that separates between the two. Dog is not, a dog is not a cat. Pwede kong sabihin, a dog is a cat. Well, it be true, the sense is wrong. I'm not, I'm not asking you of the, whether or not the proposition is true or false. May mga isudyante, masyadong pinosopo, wala naman sa lugar. Sir, a dog, sir, even if I say a dog is a cat, that is my pro pro proposition to you. Whether you you affirm it or you deny it, whether you accept it or you don't accept it, whether you agree with me or you do not agree with me, simply on the true content, simply on the material validity of the statement. When you are asked of the material validity of the statement, when you are asked of the soundness, that is the time that you have to, you have to uh, criticize whether or not the proposition is true or false. When you are asked of the validity, you are asked there, no, you are asked there of the soundness. You are asked there of the material validity. When you talk about material validity, there is no other answer there. It's just simply asking you of the truth and falsity of the proposition. But sinabi kong a truth is not a dog, is not a cat, that is true. When I say a dog is a cat, that is false. But you are asked only of the quality. That is a different thing. Okay, that is a totally different thing. When I say, a dog is not a cat. A dog is not a cat that is negative. When I say, a dog is a cat that is affirmative. Okay? Uh, kasi ang labanan dyan, what makes it affirmative, it's a simply you're affirming. Because you're only proposing. You're making a judgment. That is, that is you. Making a judgment that a dog is a cat. Well, it be true that the, the material validity of a dog is a cat is... One that of falsity, not one of the truth, because a dog is not a cat. Even if you say a dog is a cat, but that is the quality. The quality or as the quality that is affirmative. Okay, klaro tadi ha? Nakasinabo tadi ha? Okay, for a proposition to be negative, the particles must modify the copula itself. Dapat meron siyang not. 
There is also what we call none. For example, none. None of you failed the midterm examination. None there should be should be read should be read with the copula because none is a negative particle, not necessarily of the subject, but the entire proposition. Unless otherwise, I say to you, a dog is not a cat. A dog is not a cat. It's not a good proposition. O, diba? The first thing that you must do there is to locate what is the copula in the given statement. Okay, tanaw ha? If the negative, tanaw ha? Naging muna. If the negative particles modified either the subject or the predicate, but not the copula, the proposition is affirmative. Simple reading of chapter 11. Nandyan yan, basahin nyo yan dyan. Maraming sinasabi kasi ang author dyan. I-simplify na to. Nag-aata mong example. Is there in your book, example na yan? A dog is not a cat is not true. Okay. Ang tanong doon, what is the copula here? The copula is not the copula in the sentence, a dog is not a cat. That is not the copula. This is the subject term. A dog is not a cat. Being a proposition in itself is the subject term. Muna ay pasabot niya, if the negative particles modified either the subject or the predicate, but not the copula, the proposition is affirmative. So what is now the copula? The copula here is, is not something that connects between the subject term and the, sub, and the predicate term. So if you are asked now, what is the... the... Yan, 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 mali pag bagay ang dog na po. A dog is not a cat, is not, is not true. Mali po yan, kung correct ako, i-correct ha. A dog is not is not a cat is true. Example ha, is true. That is affirmative. A dog is not a cat is not true. Okay. The quality there is negative. The quality of the other one is affirmative kasi ang una niya is to locate the copula. Is here between Dog and not, a cat is not the copula, but the copula here is, is not. The is not or the is. So if you try to read the example given by the author, tanawa na ninyo niya sa quantity, uh, sa quality. Tanawa niya sa, sa, kuan, ah, uh, Unahon ako ang, ang quality ha. The, discuss ko quality, balikan ko rin yan mamaya. Pabalikan ko yan. Tanawan na ninyo sa quality niya. According to quality sa inyong libro. Tanawan niya ang, uh, ang, ang quality. Kana sa first paragraph in continuation of the quality. Ang example sa niya. Example of affirmative proposition with negative terms. Masabot niya negative subject term and negative predicate term. Some students who do not understood, who do not understand, I'm sorry, who do not understand this, are those who do not, who do not ask questions, hindi klaro sa ako ang notes. Ang pangutan na diha, kanang dunat diha, kanang dunat diha, well, it be true, negative na sila nga particle, negative na sila nga particle, but they are not the, the popular. Therefore, it, it has not it, it does not have a an impact when it comes to the quality of the proposition to make it a negative proposition because there is nothing in the copula that modifies the quality of the proposition. Kasi ang copula jan ay affirmative. Another example here is this example of negative proposition with positive terms. Ito some students are not diligent. Positive term ang some study ang uh, diligent pero na negative copula. This one is a negative proposition. So muna ay akong gipasabot. So how do we know that the proposition is is affirmative or negative? Just simply look at the copula. That is the role of the copula. Unless otherwise there is none or never. Kung na ay none, 
I never told you before. Walang copula, pero merong negative particle na never. So therefore, the, the quality of the proposition is negative. Okay, take note ha? the quality of the proposition is negative. Pag sinabi ko, I told you before, the quality of the proposition is affirmative. Example, Pino is a special kid. Some are not noisy. This one is affirmative. Some are not noisy. It's negative. Nobody is good. Ito, aside from none pala, meron palang ginatawag natin no. No, the word no there, when the word no there makes the the quality of the proposition uh, negative. No, makes the quality of the proposition negative. Okay, that makes it. None of you are lazy negative. Binay will never win negative. Okay, take note. So, akong ibalik ang logical form. Kasi daghan sa inyo, for sure yun ko. Na kung wala, maminaw, or naaman dire, or absent. But I am pretty sure that those who did not get the correct answers in so far as Lisa Subirano sings na lupang hinira. Huwag niyo naman akong bigyan ng sagot. Lisa, Sub Lisa Subirano are singing. Lisa is singular. Where did you get the word are? Subject verb agreement naman, my dear. Grabe naman kayo. Ang ginawa sa iba, Lisa, sang daw lupang hinirang. Ang iba naman, inexplain. Did I tell you to explain when you are asked to reduce? And why still some of you explain it? And I cannot imagine where in the world you are asked only to reduce the non-logical form of a proposition to its logical form. Ay, Diyos ko, inexplain. Walang binigay na sagot, not being responsive. Ako, kung hindi lang ako maawa sa mga sudyante na yun, talagang ibabagsak ko sa logic talaga. The basic structure, take note, yan lang. No, the SCP. Mamaya na yan yung mga AEINO kasi nandyan yan sa symbols. Di-discuss natin yan later. Okay, ito ngayon. The logical form is must be expressed in the present tense. Indicative mood. Kasi it's in the de declarative. Indicative. But it's in the indicative mood because thinking is the present act of the mind. 